What's wrong with it? I need your help. Last night, somebody put a bag of pills on my desk at work. Elizabeth found them. Somebody set you up? Yeah, they're not even my pills, but Elizabeth thinks I'm back on drugs. What can I do? I need you to tell Elizabeth that she can trust me. I needed that meeting. It really helped. I didn't realize you'd stop going. I just thought you found another al group. Well, I made the assumption that the worst was over and that look, he was on his way to recovery. I even imagined us having a future together. But yesterday I got a wake-up call. I passed the drug test. Even Max said I was clean, but Elizabeth won't listen. Well, look, you have to understand, you spent most of the summer lying to everyone about everything, and you made up all kinds of excuses that sounded really good, and it was hard to call you out on any of it. And, I mean, why wouldn't Elizabeth think that maybe you're doing the same thing now? Well, how can I defend myself from my own sister? Won't no, I'm not saying that I don't believe you. I'm just saying I understand why Elizabeth wouldn't. I'm clean, Lulu, and I'm going to stay clean for Mom. I owe it to her not to trust my life. I love you. And I believe you. And would you go convince Elizabeth that I'm telling the truth? Lucky like made a big show of insisting on a drug test. And what were the results? Well, they were negative, but it doesn't really matter because I'm sure he thinks he has his whole pill thing under control. You know, like, he only has them for emergencies or he's only taking one or two. You know how it is. You, the lies addicts tell themselves and everyone else. Or, Lucky's clean. When I confronted him, he was so defensive. It's exactly how he sounded all summer long, and I refused to get sucked back into that. Well, that's good. It's healthy that you didn't realize you can't fix Lucky. Maybe if it was just me, it would make a difference, but I have my kids to think about. Well, then it's a good thing you do. It would just be delaying the inevitable. If Lucky gets clean, it's not going to be because you held his hand through this. Alone and afraid might be the best thing for him. I have to protect my kids. That's my first priority. Elizabeth, how are you? I saw your brother. I know you're trying to be a really good sister, but you're not going to change my mind. I know, but you can't just shut the door on your life with Lucky when he could be innocent. He swears to me that he was set up. For most of the summer, he was swearing one thing or another. That he was done with the pills, that he was done sleeping with Maxie, that he was sober and clean and fine, but they were all lies. And I'm not going to go through that again. I have two young children depending on me, and for their sake, I can't afford to be a nervous wreck. Uh, walking, walking a tightrope between my children and Lucky's disease and dysfunction. Do you love my brother? I do. I will always love him. But it was too easy for me to believe that he's using again. And that lack of trust is not good for me or for him or our family. I know, I understand. And I really, I can't even say that you're wrong. But Lucky is in love with you. And you believing in him is what's going to make all the difference. Whatever you believe, Maxie. I know Lucky, and I cannot imagine him ever giving up on Elizabeth. Think what you want, Mike, but Lucky may not have a choice because Elizabeth has given up on Lucky. Lucky, I can't deal with this. Maybe we'll come and see you. I wish you hadn't put your sister in the middle of this. It's not fair to her, and it's not going to change what my What would mind. be fair is if you just give me five minutes to tell you what happened. I don't want to fight with you, and I don't want to constantly have this debate. So if you truly have feelings for me, Lucky, of course I do. You know I love you. If you love me, you'll do as I ask and leave me alone. Not until you listen to me. I was framed. And I'm pretty sure I know who did it. He was sitting at my desk. Maxie scored pills for me all summer. I'm not blaming her, but I think she had something to do with this. She's having your baby. Why would she want to hurt you? She wants to hurt us. She can't stand that I love you. Maxie probably thinks that if she can make you walk away from me, that I'll go back to her. I'm sorry, Lucky. The more you explain, the less I believe you. It's all so familiar. The way you managed to make yourself sound and look like the man I fell in love with. 
But you were a stranger, angry and jealous and lying every time you opened your mouth. If I can't defend myself, then what can I do? Respect my decision. We're finished. Why do I have a feeling you've always been looking for your way out? It's not over. I'll never give up on you or our child. Oh, by the way, I heard from Lucky, and he needs to see me. I think he's going to ask me for my help. Well, I hope things work out for all of you. Let's start with the treat, Maxie. I'm climbing those pills on my desk. You came to the PCP. You were at my desk when no one else was around. I didn't do it. You want Elizabeth to dump me. Let her believe that I'm using it. Lucky, I would never hurt you like that. Besides, drugs aren't your problem anymore anyway. It's it's Elizabeth. She doesn't want you and you can't stand it. You know what? If you want to lie about it, then I'm done. I'll deal with our child through a lawyer. Lucky, it wasn't me. I swear. The hell with you, Maxie. We're through. Lucky, wait. Junkies, it's only a matter of time before he starts using it again. I just, I just gave him a little, a little push. place drugs where they can be found. It wasn't my intention that Elizabeth would find them, but now that she has, she can leave Lucky with a clear conscience. I made Elizabeth's life difficult when I was with her, right? I owe it to her to fix things for her now. She'll be better off without Lucky. Eventually she'll just turn to me. Understand. My son, it's never all right to intentionally hurt someone else. Say ten Hail Marys and think how you can make amends for your actions. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace, my son. Jason about you from the start. He deserves that much. But then Lucky turned his entire life around because of you. And I was so afraid that if he found out you weren't his baby that he'd go back to taking pills. I guess he did that anyway and that really terrifies me. He's not going to give you up. Oh, God, what if he tries to get custody of you? We're going to end up in court, and there's going to be blood tests, and the truth will come out anyway. So maybe it's best if I just face it now. And then Jason and I can decide what's best for you. Lucky, you can't just make a baby with me and then walk away. Listen, I just want the truth. I told you the truth. You can't blame me for something I didn't do. I don't want anything to do with you or this baby. You're just as toxic as the drugs. Now let go of me. Maxie! 